So, indeed, we traveled to chapter 11, where we did already listen to the audio, to be honest, but we did nothing else in here. So, I'm just starting the stream, slash uh, recording already, so we can just start moving when this just loads in. But yeah, alternate solutions. We will see if I can play through the 11 and 12 today, but after all, usually it's been one chapter per a stream but we'll see we'll see how long these uh, two last chapters would be i have no idea about that so let's just listen to the person who wants to talk to us mr clark i'm approaching the shuttle hangar you must you must find your way to the cargo bay the marker it's being stored in there there's a cargo loading lift there you can use to deliver the marker up to the hangar please you must help me with this. It's the only way. I do have to say that I wonder what sort of a thing exactly this marker is. I wonder how it will exactly look like, but I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I guess it's a little bit too late for me to start to be changing weapons anymore, though. I have two weapons fully upgraded. I guess I won't be trying any others, but at least we have Reaper and not just the Plasma Cutter. So I guess that's something. I don't have that many notes. I could put something somewhere, I guess, like for one point. But like here, of course, the duration would be making sense. But on the other hand, it's kind of expensive at this point. I guess I could take one air, sure. I'll commit to one extra air. Then also our suit is almost complete. Almost perfect. Not quite, but close enough. Then we also have a store here, which I think I will indeed try to use, but let's go and get this first. Whatever is in here. Ah, more credits. Oh, that's good. Sun, bring out the sun. And yes, always the bang. Always ping. Okay. Let's see what all we had in our inventory. Well, this obviously enough can just simply be sold. No need to be carrying that around. I definitely need more uh, med packs for myself. I have quite of a good amount. Like, I, I'm happy to carry one stasis pack and one medium air. Um, I have quite of a lot of plasma energy. Uh, pulse rounds, obviously enough, I do not require. Hmm. Reaper plates is cool to have. Don't know if I have too many of some of those things. Maybe, but first and foremost, I do need some of these things with me for a certainty. Like, at least having one small, two mediums and one large is pretty decent, like, uh, load, I'd say. Nonetheless, or that's how it seems to me anyways. Maybe that's not the case, but it feels like it. I guess I'll just sell these extra uh, ammunition types that we haven't been using and won't be using like at all. Because I don't really... I guess I'll keep the pulse rounds for now just because line racks won't be ever using after all. So might as well sell this then. Does seem a little bit too late to be chasing weapons anymore then at this point. Just uh, just a little bit. Let me buy one more power note. Hello, so then then how welcome to stream for you. Welcome, welcome. I hope your week has been going a okay. We have a decent amount of space in our inventory. I guess we could have some more of the plasma energy kind, but I guess it's fine. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots. It's pretty okay. It's not as nice as I guess it should have, but it's still okay. The only question for me is should I even increase my air some more? But I don't know. Maybe not. Let me use my our plasma weapon for a change a little bit. Oh, this needs actually reloading quite badly. But so, uh, elevator is out of the question. Our goal is to go and transfer the marker. So, just straight into there, a little bit to the right, then down, and it should be right about there. Very close by, apparently. Apparently very close by. Let's go! Go 
Oh, damn it. He just climbed immediately, I guess, so I couldn't explode him, which was very annoying. I really wanted to explode him. It's kind of annoying. Why did we allow him to just escape? Can I explode him now? Well, I can't because he's out there somewhere. And then he's gonna surprise me because I didn't manage... Even though I definitely shot it. I shot it. It's unfair that he survived. This seems very... Dangerous area anyways, like very tight corridor feel that this could be breaking uh, around me I hear some very unpleasant sounds Well, I might as well go and explore this couple of rooms I guess As in the bathrooms and stuff. Because why wouldn't we? So this was no god, no fear, no no, no god, no fear. Okay. There's a thing to break in the bathroom for some reason. More plasma energy. Pretty much the shots I wasted on that one guy. It was chance before returning to work. You really need that sort of advice still here. I think that everyone would know that, but I guess that's not the case in spaceships. I don't like these noises. I don't like this vent either. A lot of stuff I don't like. It also seems suspicious. And this door is locked. Which is also suspicious. Okay, there is actually a safe spot here, so let me save. <sighs> okay, well, where do we save? Mm, let me save into here, sure. Let's change the spot a bit. So that should be the way to go, and this door is anyways locked. That's like another way to a tram station. I'm like a uh, little bit wondering where exactly we are. Is that one of those things that we have uh, been very uh, gone through this area before? I don't know. Well, I, I, I guess I, I'm not quite certain about all of that. Oh, well, let's go to the goddamn elevator then, I guess. Like, <laughs> Possibly elevator? That was a scripty scream though. I didn't like that at all. Why would there be a scream like that? Who screamed? I didn't. Why does there have to be screamers around? There's a lot of freaking noises here. So one of those exploding guys over there at the very least, and one is right like below us here. You screamed, didn't you? If only I could shoot that thing over there. I see him. I wish I could shoot him. Well, I shot the exploding part out of his hand. He's not dead, though. <laughs> Sniping from here. Very logical thing to do, I'm sure, in this game. Just sniping. But anyways, when I hear a scream like that, it's like... Uh, that wasn't nice. I didn't like that at all. Not in the least. Okay, I guess I must go down. I don't like it though. I don't like the idea of going down. Uh, these tips could save your life. It also might be better that I do not try to read tips. Because maybe enemies will surprise me? Question mark? I don't know. There was evidently noises. Okay, 
Maybe these tips could save, save my life. Uh, secure all tool cards, sync your rig, read all warning labels, read and understand your operation manual, never allow unauthorized personnel in areas, keep distance from active machinery, use stasis on cleared applications only, safely work today. Be careful with stasis. Please be. Hey, Specky, welcome to stream for you too. I hope you've been doing well this past week. I am doing a okay. At least uh, pretty much the school stuff is after all done at least, so can concentrate on other things, which is nice. Like streaming, dead space, which is definitely my favorite thing, favorite pastime ever. Absolutely. Favorite ever. Our aim, no accidents. Yes. It's just like our laser tool. Good evening, Tajunta. Hyvää iltaa. Welcome to stream for you too. I hope your week has been good as well. <sighs> Are any of these openable? Not to don't know. This one is. I'll take the cash. And uh, this one. Some of them just look like, uh, because I'm flashing green on them, so it's starting to look like... They all look like I could open them, because green means that I can open them, right? But that's not exactly the case. Okay. So I need to go even more down. Good to know. I'm kind of tempted to just go around this place just to see uh, this whole area first before going actually down that place anyways looks like quite of a freaking mess i don't look forward to going there because it feels like there's gonna be a mess of a battle over there well at least we got ourselves a power node as a thank you of going and actually exploring some more first so that's cool okay well <coughs> He did. And more things that we can open. And stasis stuff and all. <sighs> Alrighty. That looks suspicious. That's at least a dead person. If nothing else, it's definitely a person that is pretty very shaky there. That made a noise. Like someone would be yelling like that I would be hurting them. Which makes it so that I'm more tempted to shoot. Definitely looks like I'm eating something. <laughs> Maybe this is a very lame way for me to fight, but on the other hand, freaking A, like, can I fight an enemy from safety? Wouldn't it be a logical thing to do? I have no idea what that is, though. In all honesty, it's probably not a worthwhile effort for me to shoot it anyways from here, is it be it enemy or not. Maybe it's just a human that is indeed in pain and, or has been human being and is one of those weird bodies over there. But I'm definitely hearing clanging and stuff, so something is moving about down there. Which doesn't fill me with happiness. Nope, no sorry, no happiness about that. Just getting some more plus my energy, so that's cool. Secure all tool cards. <sighs> yes, all tool cards. <coughs> Stuff. <coughs> Stuff. Cargo control. Retrieve cargo. Hmm. I guess I didn't need to go down, but rather just retrieve cargo from here. Again, doesn't exactly sound though. Good or pleasant, yes, throw that out of here. I don't I don't like it at all. There's definitely a lot of this yellow stuff in here. Yeah. Whatever it exactly means. It's making the freaking same noise. I don't like what's gonna happen when we start retrieving that stuff. 
No siree. What is underneath this all? What is this mass? That has like this flesh and yellow stuff in it. That's always making a freaking noise. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Oh, guess I got no choice but to face it nonetheless. Should I save? I kind of feel like saving first. Even though it's kind of silly, but on the other hand, I collected all of this stuff. It's kind of like a little bit of pause. Then it would be kind of nice to save. Just so that uh, I don't need to collect all that stuff again. <sighs> of course, it's questionable if there's gonna be enemies in here now. Because it's very possible. Because, you know, there was before that one enemy that just climbed back up there. But anyways, whatever. I'll save quickly and... <sighs> then we will go and try to retrieve stuff. And probably retrieve a lot of bad stuff too. Most likely. That's my expectation at the very least. I can't expect anything good from this game. Well, I guess basketball was... Space basketball was kind of... Kind of nice, kind of cool, without really huge dangers. But that's about it. Like, uh, what sort of cool or fun stuff can you remember from this game that wasn't bad? Okay, well, let's uh, let's try to do this, I guess. That's it? Am I supposed to carry that? Delivering cargo shipment 782. Kinesis module required for further cargo transport. Where? You want my marker? Well, sorry, you can't have my marker. I knew there would be something really bad down there. The only question is that should I first try to be moving this goddamn thing? Or should I worry about this thing more first? They don't want me to take the marker anywhere. That's for sure. It's not coming up there from now, which is really annoying me. Don't make so goddamn freaking annoying noises. Definitely couldn't really expect that to be exactly happening, but yeah, well. And like trying to figure out how to do stuff. Ouch. Get the hell out of here.
delivering cargo shipment 782 to the hangar bay. Okay. The cargo lift has arrived. The marker is in the hangar bay. Now you can load it into the shuttle. Hurry! Oh my god. I have no idea where I need to go though, dude. And there's some enemies, you know. I don't have mostly any more any ammo into this, so that's no good. Was there something that I can loot in here? Yes. Ammo? Yes. Can I look into my inventory and quickly heal? Yes. At least a little bit. So, what did I need to do? Okay. I need to go there, okay. And what's what do I need to do there? I need to completely get out of here. Okay. Sure. I don't know if there's gonna be more enemies. There is gonna be at least that freaking tentacle monster. I just wanted to get the cash. Thanks. Hey! <sighs> I hate tentacle monsters. I don't know what that was. Who made that noise? I think more of these lockers are definitely open now though. Okay, I guess it might be just those things making noise. I don't know if this is a good idea to try to just run for it, but I kind of feel it's probably better than wasting ammo on those when I don't have to destroy those all freaking things. Let's get the freaking hell out of here. That was not pleasant. Oh my god, I feel a little bit safer in here. <laughs> Hello, Jim Jim. Welcome to the stream as well. And I'm sorry, I really couldn't be saying hello I got, uh, before. <laughs> Earlier. I really just like, no, panic. What am I gonna do? Good thing that I had at least that much ammo for the plasma weapon, I guess. But yeah. I have plenty of ripper ammo, but yeah. Ah, uh, that was just... <sighs> Not pleasant. I didn't like it at all. No, no, sorry, I didn't like it. And yes, Bot is asleep every time. And yet, the only return in value, uh, value space basketball, indeed. Uh, space basketball was a good time without stress and worry about being dead. So, but yeah, I knew that there was something bad down there with all those yellow dots, and it was the freaking lines which, which just, or vines that came on top and tried to hit me. I don't, I didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. No, sorry. Ah, do I want to try to upgrade something? Air. I guess I could upgrade this just a little bit more. Just have more range for the future. Why not? Sure. Let's have the max range. Then at least I can do it from future away. That sounds cool. Uh, how are you, as in me, or do you talk to Jim Jim? Probably Jim Jim, right, Dayunda? <sighs> My goodness, though. That was stressful. I'm just glad that that's over with for now. Then I just have to go and uh, do more stuff. Which is gonna be great. So, basically just all the way back, then take the elevator that was up there, then go into there. Alright, I, I get ya. I get ya. <laughs> Jim but you can answer as well. I don't need to answer. I was thinking that Jim Jim should be the one to be out doing the answering. Oh, a little bit sleepy. Mm -hmm. Me? I'm okay. Nothing special with me. Uh, I'm still waiting to see how exactly um, or what 
how it is put into the fact of me completing the work practice training, but otherwise the courses are pretty much over. Well, there's one test that I didn't manage to do this year, but I'll do it then in the autumn. At least I have plenty of time to read for it. It is anyways the most important, at least uh, kind of the most important, because it's the anatomy and physiology. So it's nice to be able to read some more of that anyways. But otherwise, everything's been fine. English is true. English uh, speech test I got the five from, and uh, English writing test I got the five from. I don't know what sort of a, how bad a lot of people are in it when I get a five from them, considering I do also make mistakes quite clearly enough, and it's not like I know and remember all the words, but on the other hand, I guess not all English-speaking people would know all the... <laughs> Thank you again for the subscription, Jim Jim. But I guess, like, um, not everyone uh, English-speaking would know all the, for example, a lot of medical terminology either and stuff like that. So in that sense, yeah, not remembering exactly, okay, what sort of, uh, for example, the different stuff there is, then, yeah. <sighs> At least I remember now what the coronary artery disease is, as in it's the Sepelvaltimotauti and uh, some other stuff. As Asusia, or I don't remember now exactly how to say that. Anyways, English stuff. English course is done. <laughs> English speakers think they're so good. <sighs> Feels like 32. Well, not 32. Just 31 months. Body words. EU body words. <laughs> uh, but yeah, well, there's so many different things and uh, all sort of all sort of words. Okay, is there any monsters now in here in this corridor? I'd say yes, because there was one that escaped me before, so I'm sure he will come around and disturb my peace. Surely. Well, maybe not. Ah. At least not yet. I'm just glad to be able to save after that. Because after all, that was, uh... <sighs> that was, uh... I kind of needed to be able to talk a little bit of completely other random stuff. Because that was, like, not the most pleasant. Not the most pleasant circumstances. I restored power to the elevator. Take it up to the hangar bay and get the marker on the shuttle. I'm heading up to the flight deck now. Oh god. I'm just gonna run for it. Wish me luck. Good luck. You will surely need it. I hope that we will not be the only ones surviving though. I hope. So, yeah, I would like it if you could survive. I definitely would like it. So, please try to survive. Don't make us be the only one that managed to escape. I would not pick that cool. Um was actually wondering that maybe I don't need to be moving that, but anyways. <sighs> Plasma energy. I guess I could actually buy some of this stuff, because really I don't have any more plasma energy. Sure. I guess buy some plasma energy at least. Because I really used so much in that battle. <laughs> like, truly. Let's just buy. Let's check how much we actually have. What should I be putting out of the inventory that we're carrying and stuff. We are carrying a little bit too much. Well, there's that one thing at least that we definitely don't need. And I guess I could be leaving one of these med packs at least. But on the other hand, I was planning to at least use one of these small ones. So, And to be honest, the small ones really just don't give that much. Because it's still like I could use another small one to uh, fill that out. I should have used the medium one because I was thinking that maybe I should rather use one of those, maybe. But then I wasn't sure and then I didn't. <sighs> My goodness. Is there anyone in here who has played Dead Space before actually right now here with us? And uh, who would be able to say, do they think that I could play this game through tonight? Or do you think that's... Uh, unlikely to happen because after all it's not like i know at all i know there's two chapters left but i have no idea um how close i might be to finish or how long they are or anything of a sort it kind of would be nice to have an idea uh, should i try to be aiming for actually winning even tonight 
Let's just buy one small med pack too. Why not? I'm wasting money. Hello, Pervados. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Pervados. But wizard rate is cool. You can't be that mad about that. Yes, welcome to the stream. I hope you've been having a fun uh, week overall. With wizardry instead of SO. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, I I would kind of wish almost that wiz I still had my Let's Play of Wizardry 8 going on, but... Well, uh, there's on the other hand, there's so many other games I should be playing too, so... That's, uh, that's true. Okay, let's try to go then. Enjoy a nice little lift. I am sure there's nothing bad going to be on waiting for us in the air. I I'm sure. Totally 100% sure. What do you guys think? Is there what's going to be waiting for us on top? Considering this is a long elevator ride. Not been that bad yet. There's the flight launch. So that's something that there is. And it's just into that direction through the flight uh, deck uh, door. If I find the right words and just a little bit to the right and I should be there basically. And I can load it that uh, thing in. There seems to be also backpacks here of people that might have liked to be leaving but couldn't ever leave. Enemies? Enemies? Well, that's a door I should investigate. There's definitely a couple of these open, so was I here before? Maybe? It's difficult to say. <laughs> On the other hand, of course, I could have been... It could have been so long time ago anyways that I've been here, if I've been here before, so... But on the other hand, that hasn't been taken. Weird noises. I hear weird noises every time, everywhere, yes. Where, where is everybody? I don't know. Is that the uh, fonts? Like, trying to read that stuff. Shut the fuck up. Ah, that's what it says. Where is everybody? I uh, hear... Is weird noise. That said, shut the fuck up? Or... What's the case? But anyways. Eat me. Someone wanted to get eaten. They ate my boy. I can't die here. Not yet. Not... Like this. Dear Altman, we are here. P.S. We are something. Maybe they thought that they were tasting a baffle. At least someone wanted to, them to eat him and uh, someone then just wrote that, yeah, they ate my boy. Cool. Uh, but they didn't eat you yet. <laughs> Something nice will wait us. Yeah, I, I'm very sure that's the case. Probably scary, so I, if I must say it. That's a vibe. <laughs> yeah, are you sure? Maybe there's a surprise party waiting for you. Maybe. Maybe flowers, rainbows, and unicorns. Unicorns. Happy unicorns. Yes, yeah, like from Heroes of Might and Magic Tree. Those are happy unicorns. Those are the unicorns that always come into my mind when I think about unicorns, to be honest. Why would you have exactly on, like, just in front of that toilet that... Uh, Prush, anyways, is kind of my question, but anyways, whatever. <coughs> plasma energy. I'm glad to get some plasma energy. Well, nothing more in the toilets. So, toilets were cool. At least. I know in buckers is what they are. <laughs> well, no, they just blind you so that you don't need to be seeing the horror. That is, like, right here in front of your eyes. Otherwise, when you're blinded, you can't see any of this. You're, you're way better off when you get blinded by unicorns. So, just, just better off. Okay, so, backs. Thank you for visiting the USC Ishimura flight launch. Electricity coming back up. And, uh... I don't think this can be that easy, though. Uh, I'll counter them with thousands upon thousands of troglolites. <laughs> oh, but they're already blind. They indeed can't then be blinded, sure, but, like... At least they, again, wouldn't need to be facing the horrors in here or see the horrors, so, yeah. 
chocolate lights are quite happy enough. Uh, that also, on the other hand, brings into my mind Might and Magic 7, considering there's one cave relatively in the start that I remember where I could get the card back when there was chocolate lights as enemies, but I could get the card back from there, which allowed me to play one of the, like, I don't remember what the game exactly was called, but Archmage, something like that. Some sort of a game in the tavern, and I played that game sometimes, just loaded in uh, to my demand 6 7 to just play that game. So, that comes into my mind when you bring up Trocolites, even more than Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I remember, they were the ones guarding that. So, okay, this is surprisingly safe. I did hear a noise. Lots of noises, to be honest. But I can still save. So, I shall. Even if there's noises. <sighs> okay. But yeah, that was a little bit too much excitement for me, those uh, uh, things trying to destroy me over there. I guess this is the way that I need to go. Is this the... I think this is the place where we have been in the very start, right? This That was exactly the place where we came into here and uh, uh, we went into here, had to look what was going on in the other side of the window and everything. At least this looks exactly like that place. And after all, that was like the visitation area. Now we, of course, can't go into here because, well, why would we? This is the way we go went back then. But yeah, this is definitely that area, but we just went through this area and not through that door, so... Yep. I'd say that's the case. Welcome aboard! Concordance Extraction Corporation. Mm. Yeah, that card back in the Trocolite cave is one of the most memorable things of Might and Magic 7. I don't know why it's so memorable. Of course, the serpent flies in the first island are also... I also remember for some reason that in a very like strange, like almost... In a place which you might miss, there was a lot of wyverns. I remember that. I remember flying about in that game. Uh, of course, I remember how the story ended. Or, well, some key points of the story, of course. Like, one can't really forget. And I remember, of course, the flying city. But, yeah. Trocolo Light gave with the card pack. That's, <laughs> that's one of the key memories. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. I hate you. They just all wanna eat my brains. I guess we can use one large now, sure. It at least for sure will heal us all the way up. Hey, that was just a lot of monsters after monsters after monsters. That's basically just tanking all that damage. Pretty much. Like, like there was no tomorrow. Wasn't the best battle, but I guess it was fine as a battle. Let me save. We killed a lot. Mm. Yes. Too bad no my, um, my the Magic 7 in Steam. Yeah, that, that's sad. I have it from Cool Note Games at the very least. Uh, but yeah, I've been thinking about... I should really... When I... Hmm, maybe this summer I can actually try to do it at some point. Later on in this summer that I start Hero of the Might and Magic 3 campaigns. Playing them through. And then I also start the Might and Magic 7 playthrough. And go to the evil path. Because I never went into the evil path. 
and then I can make myself into a lich, or one of my party members can become a lich. That was something that I always found cool, that you can actually become a lich in that one specific path for one of the classes. Even if I never did it really properly, considering I was never in that bad path, but that's probably the coolest thing about the bad path. Money and liches, yes. Well, who wouldn't want to be becoming a lich and live forever? So yeah, you have to be a skeleton, but you would lose your skin and all, but... That's not that big of a loss, is it? Mm-hmm. Of course, like, uh, My The Magic 7, the good bad ending I've definitely played through. Uh, the good bad is always the more, like, it's so much more natural for me to go through that, but I guess we'll go for the war and discontent between the nations and stuff like that. Which is the evil bad, of course. Evil people wants war. Okay, forward. Okay, enough of my magic sevens and hero trees talks. I'm going to dock the shuttle. Got to be careful now. I have to be play careful. Dead Space. Dead Space important. We are at the end of Dead Space. No distractions. I must I'm stop. The shuttle down now. The automated loading controls aren't responding. You'll have to shut down gravity in the hangar bay. And then manually bring the marker directly beneath the shuttle. Okay. Sure. But yeah, I'll I'll just I'll try to be concentrating into just uh, this because after all, it is uh, very cool that we are all the way in here, and I'm sure the ending is cool. So I should be concentrating completely into this. But on the other hand, I can't completely say that. Uh, well, that was still kind of a uh, a little bit distraught battle situation that we were at so in that sense it's fine I guess that I can also talk about other stuff even though I sh <sighs> okay now concentration just into dead space maybe we can finish this game tonight I'm sure this will be straightforward I would assume so pretty straightforward totally everything always works in here completely perfectly fine it's not like anything ever goes wrong or something that could never happen. Never ever, ever never. And yes, indeed, focus mode. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, uh, it would be a disservice for a good game if I just all the time, even here in the very end game, talked about other games. I guess I love those other games too and everything, but like, still. Okay, let me try to be using this weapon. I think I trust this weapon more in this sort of a circumstances, though. I guess this is the way that I have to then go, probably, but we'll see. More ammo. And more ammo. And after all, this is a pretty atmospheric game, like, uh, like sure, we have the life meter, but that's also, like, part of our suit. Then there is the stasis field thingy there, and we can see when we are uh, going to be not having enough oxygen, but it's not like we, other than here, we, of course, see how much ammo at least we have in the clip. But otherwise, like, overall ammo amount and stuff like that, we don't see. Okay, let's do this. Gravity control, deactivate Entering gravity. All of those things just dropped. Dropped dead. No way to open those, of course. As a result, either. That's fine. Hmm. Guess I just indeed have to go there and just bring it there. Yep, that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm not sure there's no enemies. No, I do not care to become uh, famous. Thank you. <sighs> and thank you moderator for removing that uh, so after this is done you're probably done with horror games for a while probably and yeah I, it's weird why those uh, things have started to now appear i don't know probably i have to give followers according to them and that's why like hey you must want more and stuff or maybe i've gotten into too many i don't know one or the other I don't know which one is true. A 
Okay, let me loot first. Loot first, then your uh, got the marker. That is a death sentence for me. Good evening, Milan. Welcome to stream for you too. I hope you're doing well. I hope your weekend has been a good one and everything. Welcome to deadliest of spaces. What's this? Activate switch track. Okay. Alright, I guess that way it would go underneath there if I switch it like that. Like it feels like it won't go over those big yellow borders. So then it should be like that. Maybe. Hopefully. I not certain. But I could assume something like that. Lots of screaming babies. Lots of screaming babies, I told you. Lots and lots of screaming babies. I guess I have to have it like that first, yeah. And then it will go there, and then I have to switch it so that it can go actually forward from there. And not just into that lane, I think. Actually. I would really like to also check these loot sections, because there's loot here. I can't say no to the loot. Like, who could say no to the loot? There's a lot of stasis stuff. Hmm. That kinda interesting. There's also a box here. My god, why is there so much loot? Why? Can I reach it now that I have a longer reach? I do. I can, if I actually manage to track it though. <laughs> like I basically have it, but doesn't seem to be moving much from there, if I have it like that. This way at least it for sure will be moving. Okay, come on. Come on, marker. Okay, just like I thought that it should be working. Now I can change it. And bring it here, and then start bringing it here, but there's enemies, I can hear that. Somewhere. Quite certain I heard enemies, yes. There's an enemy. It's usually always these guys in these uh, these areas, like uh, either these things that jump or the things that shoot, the baby shooters. Anyone else wants a taste of this? I guess that's a no. Ooh. Medicine, though. I'll take the medicine. Get on here. And get then get into the tier. Below the scott standing. Not there. What are you doing? Have you come properly from there now? 
Okay. Ah, so I could also, I guess, use these explosive things from here. That would make sense too, but I haven't, so. That's done. Okay, it's in position. Uh, still having trouble with these damn loading controls. Isaac, restore gravity to the room. I should be able to load the marker then. Well, not too surprising he would be asking for such a thing. Gravity back. I don't mind that I don't have all the loot from there. It doesn't seem that important that I get each and every little piece of loot over there. So, let's just do this then. In just a second. When I read the chat. Slapping Mufus into next week. Ah, <laughs> from that, from uh, Flame, yeah. Screams. <laughs> Good old times, yeah. Maybe they did get deleted at some point. Mm. I don't know. Hmm. That's strange though, why they did get uh, deleted at some point. I don't think I specifically make them specifically uh, highlights, but yeah, that's a pick me, pick me from Might of Magic 7 too, so. That wasn't what you were supposed to do. No more Might of Magic 7 related stuff. It's on board. Please, come and join me. Together we can stop this hive mind. We can end this nightmare, at last! What about our companion? The girl? She, she should be able to join us too. Uh, this all seems a little bit too good though, if we can just get out of here for a bit. But on the other hand, I have no idea where the chapter 12 would be taking place, so... Hello, Scrump Lord. Welcome to stream for you too. I hope your week has been a good one. <sighs> yes, I, I sigh, sigh very, very deeply for this. But uh, yes, welcome, welcome very much. <sighs> to the very most deadliest of spaces. Okay. Uh, you look weird. Over here. Hurry. You're gonna so Let's die. I was indeed thinking that you're so gonna die. Okay. What the heck just happened? Wait. Amelia. Where are you going? Who is this Amelia that you were seeing and talking about? Oh. Bye bye, Amelia. Why did you come out of there, you freaking goddamn idiot? Sorry, Isaac. I couldn't let him go through with it. I suppose I should thank you for finding the marker. We even managed without help from the USM Valor. Thank you for helping me find him, by the way. My department's been looking for this place for a long time. See what kind didn't know us? It was the government's mess to begin with. This whole planet is one big experiment. The marker? This <laughs> divine relic? Made by man. They reverse engineered it a couple of hundred years ago from the real marker, a true alien artifact recovered on Earth. They dug it up, studied it, and they made it their own. Then they brought it to Aegis 7 and activated it. And you've seen the result. The stuff of nightmares. They sealed the system, and no one would have been the wiser. But then the CEC blunders in and starts tearing the planet apart. The experiment was still alive. Kind was right about the hive mind. The marker would contain it, but that doesn't matter now, does it? I have the marker, and this entire system can go to hell. For what it's worth, you did a great job, Isaac. See you around. Or maybe not. Isaac, Nicole, I need you to help me. Help us, now! I'm... I'm in the flight control room. Please, Isaac, hurry. Please. I love you. Okay. 
Okay, great. Perfect. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't think it was glitch. I think... Uh, or do you mean... Ping on your left? Uh, but yeah, I thought that like... Um, uh, but yeah, I should have uh, looked at her face already before because I was aiming it at least didn't show. Ah, <sighs> well, well, alrighty though. Ah, <sighs> that's sad. Save Nicole, yeah, I, I guess I should be going and saving Nicole. And uh, apparently the other companion. I think this was the companion who complained that the man would have been like on the side of the corporation or something. And then she herself takes the marker. Awesome. Great. Thanks. Thanks. Not just leaving me behind in the here. Well, we gotta go and help, of course. Like, what else are we supposed to do than to go and help? But, uh, yeah. Well, she said that she didn't trust you, but I guess you shouldn't have trust her. You could have trusted me, but not her. Definitely not her. I didn't realize that her name was indeed Amelia, or maybe her name was Amelia to him, but not to us. Like, I, I'm starting to think, like, did we call her Amelia? I don't think we did. Hmm. But Peng, uh, I don't really know where you mean, Scraplord, that there would be Peng that I could pick up. Or do you mean, like, all the way to the left of that area, or... Like, to the next that thing or something. I don't know exactly. Like, should I be running all the way down there as well? Ugh, nonetheless. Welp. That sucks. I don't think we have any way to exit from here. But the best we can do is to help the person that we love. And she loves us, so... But yeah, I don't... In between those two dogs. Okay. Do you mean that? Bang. Apparently so. I had no idea. <laughs> okay. Well. My inventory is full though. Well, I, uh, I guess I need to drop something. Well, I have some ammo that I picked up that I'm not gonna be using anyway, so... Like the contact energy and also this stuff. Neither ones will I ever use. Ping. I need my ping. Of course. Well, thank you for pointing this out. I would have lost, uh, missed that. There's always ping. Yes, always. It's very important to have the ping. Uh, but yeah... Um, what do you mean, by the way, about that was glitch? Or did you mean that uh, she didn't show up for a while because I was aiming? Or what do you exactly mean? But anyways, yeah, that's uh, sad times. So now our goal is to go and save Nicole. Meet Nicole in the flight deck. Okay. So actually it's into the other direction. Alrighty. Like, into this direction. I would have gone into the completely wrong direction. Because I thought that there wouldn't be anything in there. But, sure. But, yeah. It's this way. Right? I'm not going the wrong way. <laughs> I guess I should just use this if I'm so uncertain. If I'm going the right or the wrong way. The audio was bugged. Oh. I didn't notice that. Hmm, maybe it was just to the stream or for you guys and I didn't notice that hmm, not certain or maybe it's just that um, hmm. okay I heard weird noise I don't know I'm not certain god damn Well, I guess I can use this too, but... How the heck did I miss you? I don't see more of you guys, though. 
so I guess you're the only one in here. More contact freaking energy. But I automatically just naturally pick up everything up. Okay, fine. Let's go and drop the contact energy. It's not like I'm gonna be using it. Like I said, it's most likely going to be a little bit too late to be using that at this point. Hmm. Oh, Scrap Lord, do you have a better idea? Isaac? Is that really you? I never thought we'd be together again. God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for what I did. I never wanted to hurt you. You need to get it back now, Isaac. You can pilot the shuttle remotely from here. Make us whole again. Make us whole again. Okay, we actually are here together at the moment at the very least. Apparently I can pilot it remotely and she couldn't actually go and just leave. Interesting. I loot in the meantime, okay? Lady of ours. Um, very surprising. Now we're suddenly meeting people. Uh, let me take this first. Diamond semiconductor, sure. And let me save. If I can, but I can't because it's in the standby position. Okay. Don't you go and die on us then. Nicole, at last, indeed. Make us whole again. And no hug. Yeah, this is apparently no hugs, even though, like, make us whole again. But we are definitely right. She is at least flesh and blood, whatever she is. <laughs> it would just so be weird that she would actually be here completely alive, but I guess she could be, considering she kind of has some armor too. Even though that doesn't look like it would be nearly as good of armor, but we can clearly see her hit points and stuff, so... Uh, okay, but uh, override shadow control, certainly. Emergency shadow recall. Isaac, what the hell are you doing? You're making a big mistake. This is not over. Well, you're the one that is leaving me behind, woman. That. Escape pod away, crew shuttle USG-09. Repeat, shuttle has ejected escape pod. It doesn't matter. She can escape her fate. None of us can. Escape her fate. Well, what is our fate? I'll reprogram the shuttle so we can fly down to the colony. We're so close, Isaac. Now go, get on the shuttle. I'll meet you there. Uh, are you certain about this? That you'll meet us there? That sounds like such a bad idea, though. That you'll just meet us there. And you won't actually come together with us? Like, wouldn't that give us a better chance of actually both of us surviving if you came with me rather than, like, staying here? Like, if you are actually real and stuff? But uh, yeah, now we would be kind of continuing the task that the other guy had, but she did want to escape from that with the escape shuttle then, and rather than having to face us again, apparently. I can't blame her on that. That, so to speak, Amelia. Uh, was that her really name? Did we call her Amelia? Oh yeah, and what I was trying to ask Rob Lord is, what do you think? Uh, 11 and 12 chapters, how long are these? Are we... This is anyways really weird. Like, these all monitors activate when we get close to them, but they're not read beforehand. I'm really suspicious about all of this. Nonetheless, we have to go and do our duty. So, we'll go. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Nicole, so positive. Yes. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if there is a chance that I might play both of these tonight. But on the other hand, hmm, I don't know. I guess it depends guess it depends. It would be nice to be able to finish the game completely, so there's that. This chapter will be over soon. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ich, monitors act a bit of strange. Yes, very strange. They do act indeed. Strangely. Yep. Guess we gotta go. So many doors in between. Uh, 
I wonder. I thought that I was originally already launching those Reaper Blades, but I didn't, which is sad, because I thought really that I launched already the Reaper Blades, but no, no I did not. I made a mistake, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do, as in launching them, not just using them from like a <laughs> close-up distance and stuff. Not a medium met back. Mm. I would prefer to have a medium met back though. It's not like I'm ever gonna use this ammo, so sure, drop that too. Then we'll have a full uh, inventory. But with the medium med pack. Where are these things on board, though? That's the thing that is the uh, suspicious thing to me. Where are they actually on board of this ship? Or... Can I see her? Like, surely she should have been somewhere around there, maybe? Like, or I guess, hmm... Would it be above, like that area? Like really, really above us? Hmm. So weird to be able to actually get on board here. I'm just gonna activate this weapon right here. This seems more safe for me to try to actually save her if possible. Is she coming? Is she really going to get into here? They're just teleporting. I don't know. Do I need to fly? Okay. You're doing it right, You're Isaac. You're doing the right thing, okay. Isaac. We're together now. The way it always should have been. I knew you'd come back for me. Nothing can stop us now. She doesn't feel real. They talk to dead people, so I assume that's what we're doing too, but at least we got out of the main ship, I guess. Alternative solutions completed. Okay, well, that's uh, that's very interesting. That much I definitely can say. Very interesting. There is one more after this one. Yes, indeed, I know that there's the chapter 11 and 12. I happened to, after all, accidentally spe uh, spoil that on my for myself. We are going to the colony. Dead space. Indeed. Dead space. But yeah, we're making it full as in the planet full when we are taking this marker back into there to colony and stuff. But, uh, sure. But, uh, I don't know. I don't... I guess she's just the ghost. I don't know what I could be thinking of her. Why, she's real normal girl with no emotions voice. Possible? But it's just... It's just so strange. It's just that I can't believe it that she would have been able to survive there and stay relatively sane when everyone else is now dead. Well, that one guy was trying to do this too, I guess. So some others did survive too, but it is so difficult to believe into it. <laughs> because like feels that uh, how could it be that we might be almost having a happy ending, at least. At least almost, if not quite. So we're in the colony. Perfect. Use one of the loaders to get the marker off the shuttle. Okay. How do I do that exactly, though? But we're actually on the planet. That's cool. That's one of those things that, uh, like, they would be holding. Yeah, that's cool. We're, we're on the planet. We're actually on the planet itself. We're not in that goddamn ship anymore. <laughs> But yeah, it's just so strange. She's actually okay. I guess. And then there's the, indeed the fact that we heard that people were hearing dead people's voices and stuff. And I guess possibly even seeing them. So that's why it's very difficult to trust that. I don't know. I don't I don't know. Until we get completely 100% safely home and stuff. And can be happy there. I can't know if I can trust it. Really. You can live together here. Have children. Yes, totally. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is a, a dead colony. That uh, sounds perfect. Loader offline. However, in here at least. I assume I would need to go to her specifically. But uh, I'll just check everything just to see the area. This person is very headless. He's been thrown out. He wasn't accepted. That's very sad. I can have you. Come to me. Money. Okay, so this is the thing that we need to use. Alrighty, I get ya. I need to track it all the way over there so we can get it into the out into here. And wherever exactly we need to be taking it. Is there a lot into here or is this just a little area? It'll I guess I should come here later because I clearly see there's one of those goddamn monsters that makes more things and stuff. So that's not cool. I don't want to go there. Just don't want to. I would like to ask, ask her questions how she would have survived and lots of stuff. Lots of stuff that I would like to be asked. Why would her, she suddenly have changed her mind that we should be together and stuff? Activate. Objective added. It's quite a weird artifact though. That's much we can certainly say. Shouldn't it be already enough that we just brought it in here? It's back in the colony. Shouldn't that be good? Now we can just uh, leave and live happily ever after. But I assume it's not that simple. That, uh, yep, yeah, that's just enough. We have to do more than just that. As in, actually take it into a very specific spot in here. And only then could we be all happy. And live forever happily. If that they would ever come to be. But at least her soul, even if she would be dead, maybe her soul can be at peace when we would do this, so... In that sense, it's still a worthwhile effort. Anyways, I'd say. There it goes. Into that platform. Ah. <sighs> Where you want to leave? Back to Happy Ship? No, uh, somewhere far, far away. Somewhere, somewhere far, far, far away I would like to go. Okay, Corn Cortons Extraction Corporation powering humanity into the future. Yes, what a beautiful future being changed into a freaking monsters. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful future. Um. So, was this completely well enough in here or something? No. Clearly not. Or maybe yes. Okay, do I need to change that part or something? Definitely can't get it back there anymore. But it would feel like that would be the spot where it would be moved. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I would need to fix something or something. Considering this seems a very electric key. Also, I would like it if she actually talked a little bit more so that I could actually feel that she would be more alive and stuff. Uh, take marker to the pedestal site. Open the supply depot door. Ah, I need to open the door. Sure. All right. I get you. I have to go and open the door. And this needs a battery. Sure. We'll do that. That's why I need to go into here and kill more monsters like this thing. I wish I could just kill it from here. We don't need to go there. I would, I would definitely like that part. Isaac, the marker needs to be returned to the pedestal chamber. Use the loader to bring it there and place it on the pedestal. Replace what was taken. 
and make us whole again. Replace what was taken and make us whole again. Yes. Marker that is talking to us. Or whatever. Whatever you exactly would be. Yes. Indeed. This place is so dark. All of a sudden. Did you go somewhere? Are you still here? If I go back outside, can I find you? Definitely can't see you. So... Did you supposedly go back to the ship? I highly doubt that. I highly think that you are just my imaginary friend. Uh, who... Is of the markers making or something. I don't know. This doesn't feel real. What should I do? I have three power nodes. Don't really have much to upgrade though. Like, energy and duration in this thing really isn't something that sounds that worthwhile to me. But I might be mistaken. Where does this door go? A little area with the loot. Dear God, keep us safe from most area. I, I don't know exactly what that would say. Can't, can't understand. This is Sergeant Newman, PSEC. We've lost all the shuttles. One of them just took off and came straight back down and crashed into the bay. Took a couple of hundred people and all the remaining shuttles with it. If anyone can hear this, do not land. Do not land. Well, that's a bit late now. I wonder if I can really leave from here, but hey, at least I would be bringing the marker back, so... I guess that's okay. Where's your shop when you need one? What do I want to leave behind? I guess one of the stasis packs. You can't leave money behind at the very least, that's just not a possibility. One ripper plate can't pick up. What's so bad in an imaginary friend? It's still a friend. She talks with you sometimes at least. Sure, that's true. She would suck as an imaginary friend if she didn't even talk to me ever. If you are here, you are... Know that I was here. Come back at night. We'll see ways there sure i don't really understand what uh, that was about but sure okay i don't like the fact that there's that monster that is changing and changing ah store right here why didn't i see this before why didn't i see it so now i'm definitely at least going to be leaving a couple of these medium med packs because that's a lot of stuff to carry about uh a ping 30,000 cash, but can we really think of selling it? That seems pretty highly not cool to sell our peng. Mm, I'd rather put it into the <laughs> safe, to be honest, rather than sell it. Um, lots of plasma energy, but we need a lot of plasma energy anyways, and we have ripper blades. Maybe we can move at least one set of ripper blades? Maybe. Maybe. Ah, uh, sure. I guess I'll buy some power notes because I really can afford it. I have lots of it. Lots, lots of, and lots of, and lots of money. I am kind of wondering if there's something behind these pets because you basically could be sometimes at least also moving them, but I'm not certain. Uh, may Altman be within uh, within you? I don't know if I want Altman within me. Thank you very much. Shuttle service is twice week weekly, I think that says. But yeah, that doesn't sound good to me. Not good at all. Uh, stasis. Let's get that. Let's get that. Get some duration. Get some more energy energy 
Yeah. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Sure. At least if I ever need to use some more of the stasis, I will have it last longer. So, that's okay. I'll go and buy just one more, because I just don't want to be moving without uh, having any of them. Mm. Click, 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 click. Because I have the cash, so why not? Esk. Okay, let me just save them quickly, because now I would have done at least all the inventory stuff, so... Then I don't need to think of having to do it again. Okay, we're ready. I guess, almost. There's something here too, but I just passed my energy. <sighs> God damn freaking... At least I only allowed one of those to change, so that's okay-ish. But yeah, I knew that they would like to come into here because I knew that there were so many bodies here to eat. But uh, at least uh, mostly took care of those. Well, I mean, took care of them okay, at the very least. Altman is founder of the Unitology in-game. Yeah, I thought so too, but still it doesn't sound cool. Uh, I did get it, considering it's the religion stuff, and I've heard that name before too, but it's just... I don't want that. Just saying. I wouldn't want that. No. No, sorry. I would not want that. Sure. No Altmans for me. Okay, so at least those couple of monsters are dead. Basically, I wouldn't need to be going far at all. I probably just need to bring the energy thingy from there, but I killed those freaking things, so I guess I'll save just because of that. I do hope that it's not really far away where we need to be taking this marker, because uh, I really don't like the idea of having to uh, take it really far and stuff. Is that the thing that I need? I think so, that's the battery. That's indeed it. God damn, so much stuff that I could now go and sell again. Fine. Come with me, battery. Then let me sell. Just a few things. God damn it, I'm never gonna be leaving from this place because there's just stuff. Always there's more and more stuff. Uh, one of these definitely away with the... I guess that's fine otherwise. And just got straight up cash. Oh, he seems nice, man. Totally. V very nice. Uh, just absolutely fantastic. Old uh, In old German, Altman means old man or wise man. Yeah, I kind of would think that it would be more relating to somehow wise man. I don't know why I would get that feeling, but... Why does it have to be those things? You did. Thanks. Because I didn't like you. Ah, God damn it. There's just, uh, this is an annoying place for a, sp a safe station because it's way too easy for me to be like, but I would like to say quickly again. Hello, Ben Wall Dweller. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I hope you've had a good week and everything. Uh, hardly anywhere, future Tayunta. I'm taking a battery in there slowly but surely and saving many, many times. 
And yes, I am on chapter 12, of course. Moving a marker. Very uh, slowly. Extreme slowness in that department because there's a lot to sell, there's a lot of stuff to do, other stuff, and stuff with stuffs. Okay, you, there. Start working. Okay, now we can get it forward. And the door is open. This door can open and the other side could open too, I think. So in that sense, I guess, I don't know if it actually matters which side we would be at. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I assume all the way there. Shutter control. Sure. I was thinking that it probably closes this. Okay. Then that one opens. Then we have to be taking it ever forward. Exciting. I wonder how far it is where we need to be going with this goddamn thing. Gravity tether. Operation. Uh, A. Okay. There looks to be a lot of stuff. Also a lot of stuff. A lot of lovely walls here. But what could you expect there to be, really? Not much uh, different, I'd say. What else could you expect there to be? Well, before we start the movie moving that around, let me just go and check around the place. I can... I guess I have enough st st stasis right now, but there has to be a reason why there's specifically stasis there, okay? Bridge control makes sense. I was thinking indeed that I don't see how we could be... Unknown biofarms detected in the area. Security has been notified. Yeah, but where? There's a lot of stuff like that in here, to be honest. I wonder how long there is this, or are they gonna be forever now? I hope they will end one day. So that they can actually concentrate in doing the other stuff. Quarantine off? Quarantine off? Quarantine not off? I don't like the fact that the quarantine is still not off. I can say that much. I just wanted to go and check about loot. <sighs> then I wonder if I should be doing that first or go and explore like I was meaning to originally or was thinking of doing because I would like to just like not just pick everything up but like also there was this thing that I wanted to open stuff there too that I guess I missed all of that loot like we probably would be going there anyways but it isn't the end of the world if I do it a little bit later as saws mm, let me just check this freaking loot boxes first so to speak loot boxes 
Uh, it seems like it's calmed down a little bit though. <laughs> Maybe the colony is not such so, a so nice place to live with these walls. Yeah, I don't like these walls, but hey, I might be very wrong with that. Maybe maybe someone would love these walls. Hey, who am I to judge? Why do I even care about all of this loot? I do not know, but whatever. I kind of just feel like the need of going and picking them up, but I guess I have to be running about here a lot. To be frank, because like one way I have to open a door, and then I, another way I have to be opening the door, and another way, and another way. What is that button actually in there? That's like I want to figure out what's that little button. That's not a bridge control button, so that's why it's like I'd really like to know what's this button. But yeah, there's so many buttons we have to be pressing here just to open bridges, open bridges. Ah, lock override, of course. More than happy to do that, but I guess that's also, <laughs> for the moment, anyways, quarantined. But eh, it's opened already, I guess. That's uh, something. Uh, it was my only power note though, so I do hope that we'll have a chance to get some more power notes again. Because, yeah, I don't have now then more because I thought that it doesn't make sense not to use them sometimes too. <sighs> I'm talking way too much and not doing stuff. You need to move. Oh. oh, that's why I need the stasis. Now then, first bridge taken care of. Now it's just a question, where do we want to take it? I don't see a reason to go there, though. Like, that doesn't seem like that would be a place we would need to take this in. So this bridge would seem the most logical. I do need to control it from the other side, however. But otherwise, this is the bridge that I would say that we should be uh, opening, I think. Cozy sweet home. So yes, cozy, extreme coziness. Like, if you think about it, it's just like a place like the, with the white walls, softer walls. Like, who wouldn't like softer walls? Then you couldn't really hurt yourself in any way. These are kind of, I'm sure that these are softer than just like metal walls. Certainly. Must be softer. So, seems cool to me. If you think about it that way. Right, enemies. I'm sure I heard somewhere else too. I'll just go here for a moment when I know that there's enemies. If there's gonna be more of them, maybe there isn't. <sighs> There's poop of a smell though. <laughs> good points. Some very good points, yeah. <laughs> Must be some good uh, good smell, yeah. Mmm, bacon, yeah. Just start smoking it a little bit. I'm sure it would uh, smell very good. Then you would start to want to be eating your walls though, which could be bad. Like, eating away all your walls. Doesn't sound exactly the perfect option, but hey, who am I to say? What do I know? Maybe it is a good idea. Maybe it would be. Are you stuck somehow there and that's why you're making that horrible noise? Get unstuck. I don't like you making that sort of noise. Stop with that noise. We're still making noise. Stop it. I told you to stop it. There you go. No one more no. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> no, it's just different type of uh, noise. Whatever. Uh, yeah, if you are hungry, you can always have a bite. Yeah, but on the other hand, it seems like a pretty bad investment if you're not gonna have your walls at some point because you eat them all the way up at some point. Like, I guess you would have to be trying to count, like, um, how long are those walls gonna be lasting for you, you know? Yeah, that uh, doesn't seem like the place we would need to take it. Or maybe it does, like, I guess here would be the... Hmm, button to do something. Not exactly certain, to be honest. But yeah, this is at least still locked, so we can't really... Because that seems like we need to, in the future, go through there. But we can't go there at the moment anyways. So... Guess we'll try to take it this way. Maybe that will open something. I don't like those noises. I so hate how this exploding guys sound like. They really sound unpleasant. Finally! Finally the quarantine is lifted. Finally! I can go and get my loot from that uh, one room that I already opened up with the power note thingy. Finally! Finally! Oh, uh, Scrap Lord, do you know, I'm gonna just ask you because otherwise I'm gonna go to a shop and wanna buy another power note for myself. So is there going to be another door where I would need a power note? We're gonna be basically saving time so I don't backtrack and just use the shop and buy myself another power note. If there's no need for new ones, I'm more than happy not to get more, but uh, if there is, I would just hate to be missing one in the end here just because of the fact that, like, I wouldn't be able to have it, so to speak. There's this plasma energy I definitely want to pick up, so let's see. What do I have too much of? Well, I don't definitely need this goddamn stuff, nor do I use this ever, so I think those are the obvious choices to drop. Okay. But uh, doesn't seem that this was that useful, but hey, ammo. Ammo is okay, I guess. So, we have that. But yeah, I'm so tempted to go and buy myself another power node just because of the fact that, like, I don't want to miss one if I happen to come across one in the future, but I don't know. That seems like a stupid idea for me to backtrack now just because of that, but I don't know. That's why I'm trying to ask uh, about it. That seems to be the location I need to go at least here, from what I see. Doesn't seem to be that ridiculously complicated area. Like, this is the most complicated, or was the most complicated with the bridges and stuff, but uh, I guess we'll see. On the other hand, there is that weird, like, pipe sort of structure to the right of us when we go to the next room. Don't really know what that's about. Looks weird, though. Okay, well, no answers yet, so I guess I'll try to continue, even though I'm so tempted to go and buy something. Shutters close. And yeah, I don't know what those things are. Are they goblins? Child goblins with weird tentacle shooty things what the heck knows i don't know what to call them they're just weird that's what they are okay i do like how the sun looks from the windows nice sunlight that's it a little bit on the outside okay tether core gravity tether core I heard it sounded very loud footsteps or something, or maybe it's one of those freaking tentacle monsters attacking me again. I don't know. 
Isaac, you're almost there. You'll have to restore power to the bridges to move the marker through this area. Look for a control station at the end of the maintenance tube. Oh, damn things. Like, they don't almost hurt at all. They're just annoying. I think this is a better idea to go from here. There's there's so many in there all the time that there's gonna be launched into there, so it's really frustrating. From here I have a better chance to just concentrate on these things that are spawning them first, and after that I can... And these Reaper pledges seem to be the most effective way to kill these goddamn bastards. Are you alive? Yes, you are alive. Extreme alive. I got you. Ay, ay, okay. Now I can use some healing. I'll rather use two mediums, I think, rather than one big. Yeah, that's good. Onwards, yes. Yeah, that's a that's a door. I wish that she wouldn't have talked to me though while I was in the middle of this goddamn thing because well, I really didn't have the well, gladly there's a store here. Now I can actually do that and it's good that I didn't go backwards. Eesh. But, uh, hmm, I wonder what's the reason for me to go into there exactly other than just for completion's sake. I feel that there has to be a sp more of a specific reason, though. I would feel that there would need to be. I don't know if there is, but seem logical. Sell that. Sell one of these stasis packs. Even though I guess I will be needing them too here still, but still. Let's uh, take one of these with me. Um, let's take one of these, I guess. <laughs> Considering we are actually using some stasis here. And then... I don't know. Do I need something else? I definitely have nothing that I would want to buy. I don't think so. Eh. Oh, power note. Maybe I would want to buy that power note that I was about to go all the way back to just buy. God damn it. How did I not remember it when it was about to be the time to actually buy it? But damn it. There. Now I have two of them. Now I do not need to go back to uh, buy those things. But yeah, I definitely will be aiming now to try to completely finish this game tonight. Because after all, we've already uh, played the chapter 12 anyways. So it would seem like a pretty stupid idea. God damn, why did I... Well, it was straight up money. I don't need to sell straight up money. Okay, I guess I'll go and explore on this side first before I start moving this goddamn thing again. I'm certain that these vents will be opening at some point, some of these at least, and there will be monsters. Because why there wouldn't be, I wouldn't... I, I definitely would have no reasons why they wouldn't be opening up. Hello, human being. <laughs> Oh, you actually do come alive a little bit when I go right next to you. Uh, <laughs> I never have seen them hurt me before, so that's why I was like, I'll just go next to it. And it actually did damage me. And yeah, whoa. <laughs> uh, it actually did damage me. I, I, It surprised me. It hasn't done that ever before. I've always been careful with it, but I was thinking that, sure, I'll just go right next to them this time around. Just see what happens. And that's what happened. Didn't it like me? Why it wouldn't like me, I don't know. Very sad. Okay, I could sell even more, but I don't think I want to sell even more. Not right now. Bridge control, bridge malfunction. Okay, I can actually use that automatically immediately. So I would have to go somewhere to fix that bridge. So restore power to the bridge. Ah, that's the reason I need to go to that weird place. It's anyways, it looks so weird. Like I have to go really down and then again up. 
That looks very strange. I don't know what to think about that. Maybe there's no gravity there or something. I don't really know how it could look like this. Though I feel like I have to take this weapon because somehow this, I guess there is no, indeed no gravity. But somehow I have a bad feeling that there's going to be like um, uh, one of those tentacles that will try to grab me and stuff. Because it's just, it's just a long, just Entering like pipe. But I guess it won't be because this is a zero gravity environment. They usually haven't been in zero gravity environments, but still. Still. Okay, great. I have to go into a pipe. Why is there this sort of a pipe for this sort of a bridge control energy things? This is so confusing. Like moving to the right will make my aim go so like just screwy in here. Can't really do that sort of thing much because that will just completely screw with me. Absolutely screw with me. My goodness. So many legs flying around. Yeah, that's a few of them. Just a few of them. That's a few legs. Overall, I definitely don't find this a pleasant. We are not dead yet. We actually needed to die. You know, that's what you needed to do. Die. Okay. We are almost there. I think probably not even close to being almost there. Okay. We are maybe halfway. <laughs> um, but yeah, sure. Almost. Almost almost there. As in, we are almost possibly to that sort of a spot that would be called almost. Ugh, that's got so confusing. <coughs> Cash. That's yeah, but yeah, a lot of uh, rubbish flying about. Heads and legs and... Especially legs, but there are some torsos too. <coughs> and loot! I just have to loot everything, even though it's just so stupid of me to worry about any of this loot, because it's like... But why would I worry about any of this loot? What do I do with any of this loot? No. Can't pick that up. And then there's this sort of weird... Like, just... Area, just at the end of it all. How can it be so difficult to pick that up? I do not know. Maybe I'm full of, of inventory with those or something. I don't know. Okay, restore power with that thing. I, I don't I don't know. Maybe I, my inventory is full. That would be the most logical at least. Storage. I guess this is where they dump all their spare limbs. <laughs> I guess so. Maybe just floating around. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay, pull down. And then these weird things are making weird noise. And st lots of stuff is just going and all. Uh, I, I would have needed to hurry out of here, wouldn't I? I don't know. It feels like that's probably the case because these things are starting to go here. Yep, move. Yep, okay. Um, I. It's not like I could have known, though, <laughs> exactly. I was thinking... Of, but in, in, anyways, this is, seems like such a hazardous place to have this then, though. Or maybe it's just that I need... They will just be powering up, sure, but they won't be killing me exactly, but that they will just, uh, in general, make it more hazard use for me to get out of here, probably. I don't know. God damn it. Okay. Not that button. Eek. I guess it's just overall more hazard use, at least. Not straight up deadness, but... 
die. What a place to have enemies in. Very not fun. <laughs> I've definitely been using a lot of this ammo, okay. Oh, oh. Money? Where did the money go? Did I pick it up? I don't know anymore. Uh, one of them did have money, but it might be floating into there now. Are you the money? No. Fine. But yeah, okay. Let's just change to the Reaper because uh, I won't have any ammo otherwise on that thing. I can buy more, of course, and stuff, and I guess I will. But still... Okay. Got that. Okay, just going into that freaking thing. Running into that was uh, pretty much not fun. Okay, we're at the end of this thing. Watch med back. I didn't lose much health, but exiting zero gravity. At least the Ripper Blades are pretty good at cutting this thing up. Not bad, at least. Another power note. Okay, let me use a medic. I think that's a fair choice, but yeah, definitely <laughs> not really a much ammo on the other thing. So uh, let me go and buy some ammo to the other gun too. I think that's a good choice. Uh... Didn't mean to be touching that, but fine, whatever. Guess I'll send it away. Let's sell one of these. Do have quite a lot of them. And this I can sell. This I can sell. And I have plenty of ripper blades. Let's at least move some ripper blades away because that's a lot of ripper blades. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five medium med packs. Surely I can do with one less. Surely. Okay, and then I needed plasma energy and lots of it. Sure, something like that maybe. <laughs> For a moment, was thinking that uh, this another self restore guy. Ah, yeah, that would have been more annoying though because I didn't at least have any idea about how I would be able to deal with something like that. So this was definitely the less bad option. If we think about that sort of option too in there. I think I'll buy some more of the plasma energy still. Because I think I'll just go through it very fast when I do happen to use it. Just like basically burn through it. Now I have 200 cash. Of course I also have Peng that I still could sell for a lot of cash. But I don't want. I just don't want. But yeah, that's not that big of a problem to deal with. Mm, yeah, save. I should have taken the stasis uh, buff first, but eh, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, now then, to start getting this thing forward again.
At least one bridge forward. Better than nothing. And then this side. Then we can do the same thing for this. That seems pretty good. Can I get already more stasis bonus from here? Yes, I can. Okay, get that quickly. Get a little bit more of that. Then save. And then we are still already pretty well on our way. Okay, that's good. Let's see, how much of the map was there left? Exactly. Like, uh, we're in this location now. That looks pretty straightforward. I don't know if that's... Maybe after that we'll try to uh, exit from that place to that pipe towards the ship. I wonder what sort of ending this will have. As in, do we actually manage to escape? I get, maybe... I don't know if this guy is our main character in the next Dead Space game too. I guess that's a question... Uh, the big question. Maybe. Alright, open the door. Let's go. Let's do the same thing again as in close that so we can open the other side. Hmm. Nico almost near. Yay. At least I assume so. Doesn't look like there's a lot of this map left. Okay. <laughs> You'll have to play the second one and find out. Yep. Of course, but of course if this guy specifically dies here, then there should be less of a chance of that. Why is that box there? Not on this side. <laughs> I don't know if I should be moving it when I'm not even on here yet, but I guess it's fine. Yeah, I hear noises that I do not enjoy. But maybe I'm not right with that. Maybe it was nothing. Maybe I was just imagining it all. All that horror, that weird sounds that I was hearing. Maybe I was just imagining it all. Maybe. Certainly must be so. Just imagining it. Okay, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Um, it does feel like indeed those doors have been that way open because of the fact that this marker was after all taken out of here into the ship previously. So that seems like the logical thing. So, yep, I'd say so. There's still no problems with the stream, right? The only weird thing is that for some reason, like, uh, there's a options menu open now suddenly the OBS for me, which is like, why did that open? It doesn't seem to be really mattering in the slightest and I have no idea how I would have opened it, but it seems like it just suddenly opened, so <laughs> kind of strange, but sure, doesn't really matter. There's nothing in that? That's strange. Not even an enemy. Sometimes there's been enemies in those after all, but apparently not even that this time around. Yes, arrow pointing that way, I know. That is the way I need to go. Hi, dead body. Would you rather go down there? This is like Shandin. I didn't hear this marker Shandin before, but right now it definitely sounds like it's Shandin, like something like undead something. Yeah, definitely sounds like Shandin within it, which is very strange. And yeah, ghosts. Yeah, and ghosts are messing with my OBS at the same time indeed as well. Lots of ghosts about and around. I don't know why, but I would like to rather be on the other side though. 
I guess uh, the logical reason for that would be, at least if we look from the map, that seems like I should be exiting to the left anyways. Not that it should matter at all for which side we go into here, but still. I wonder if there's exactly going to be an end boss, or is there indeed again a lot of stuff just in the ship? Because that's very likely that there's going to be a lot of... Because it was talked there, the sh ship captain warned about landing. Because something was then crashing their ships when they were trying to leave from here. I don't know. Okay, that took a while. What am I going to see in here? Ah, yeah, that's like the dick side. And a freaking huge... Huge tentacle. Actually huge tentacle. I don't know about that. Well, limbs. I don't know what to call those. Limbs. You can have your marker though. Okay, I'm not exactly excited to go there though. Gotta say, not exactly 100% excited. <laughs> uh, Nicole and boss, yay, it's friendly for sure. Uh, yes, I'm certain about that. Excavation, excavation site sealed by order of captain. Starting to hear quite a lot of music. I'm just here to do the good, right thing, okay? It's like going down there for a while. Okay, well, I'm not exactly excited about that, but sure. 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 So, gravity tether status. Hmm, yeah, there is that thing there. I'm not exactly certain what that purpose is. Why is it they're like that? I wouldn't be able to say. You're not a threat to me though, but this thing is. Sure, you can be a little bit of a threat when you do that. And you are annoying bastard, I hate you. Always say that that thing. Why do you not want to be restored? Why do you have to have these things in between here? Oh god damn it, you didn't make any sound. Make a uh, damage to it from here, maybe not. Eh, whatever. Let's use a he healing back, anyways. Yes, that uh, shaky guy had some weird <laughs> animations, certainly enough. things. Not that goddamn thing, but yeah. That's so annoying because like <laughs> I try doing trying to do something completely different than what I did there, but anyways. I guess I can't go and try to pick those things up because it doesn't seem like that's gonna be doing very well at this moment. Just trying to bring this in, you goddamn tentacle monster. Ah, 
That's some redness, that is. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed in you. I knew you'd return to me. We are whole again, Isaac. We are whole. Emergency. Geo-orbital gravity tethers offline. Tectonic load released. Impact imminent. Evacuate this area immediately. Decontamination cycle activated. Well, I guess we're in a hurry. If we don't want to be destroyed. But, uh, yeah, like I said, she's an, a kind of illusion. Oh, you. I can't do that. Marker's coming with me. It's a shame. You get what you deserve. I, I heard that. Even if you are insane. What? You don't believe me? Take a look at yourself. Better yet, take a look at the video from Nicole. And this time, watch it right to the end. And you were hiding it from me, weren't you? Where she dies, in reality. It's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. It's a little thing. In the end, it all comes down to this one little thing. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Yep, she's killing herself there. With the needle. But we never saw that part. Aww. See? You're insane. Just like Kai. Just like the captain. I assumed as much. Nicole has been dead this whole time. Whatever you were seeing was caused by that. You are its pawn. But don't worry, it will be in good hands now. Far away from this damn place. Goodbye, Isaac. I don't think everything will end well for you. Great. And the, all the effort we went through to get it there. Now she's just stealing our marker. Well, what's our goal? Hmm. Return to the shuttle, that's all. We don't care about the marker even anymore. I guess not. You really think that it's gonna end well? We're just... Like, what sort of a shuttle is she using? Is my question. She would have to be able to leave from here too, somehow. But to be honest, it should take her a freaking way longer to get that marker all the way to that shuttle than it should take for us to get there. Like, that freaking thing is quite, quite heavy still to carry around. All the, and there's all the doors that go and close and everything. So, in all logicality, we should have quite of a head start. Is that actually real? No, that's a different question. What was that? Not certain. But something certainly. Okay. Plays with even more stuff. Is she going to be our end boss? Kill her? There's <laughs> lots of freaking stuff. <sighs> no going back anymore. It's just the one way.
Okay, let's just go. I guess I could quickly upgrade something. While we're at it. It's not like we're gonna use it anywhere else anyways. Yep, this is completely upgraded. Woohoo! Yep, she's gonna take our ship and leave us alone here into the colony. Sounds great. Absolutely fantastic. Did I have good amount of ammo? I guess I'll check that still, if I have a good amount of... I have a decent amount of plasma energy. Let's see if this will work out. Yep, she's somehow already there, even though it doesn't make any sense oh that she would have gotten there already. Ah! There you go. Ah! Like I said, that you'll get what you deserve at some point. Do I now have to fight the freaking big huge monster? <laughs> I might have needed some more of this energy, to be frank. Yep. This is a huge monster. Okay. Sounds great. Hi. I'm not sure why you didn't crap me like you crapped uh, her, but it's fine by me. Uh, she's he's always or this thing is always aiming to the place where I have been I was trying to reload but that was a bad timing for me to try to reload is it all over now because I got grappled yeah I guess I can try to do it like this It's just like a really freaking difficult thing to try to actually aim for that when I'm upside down even. I guess I did it. Did enough anyways. For that moment. That's going a lot. <laughs> Happening a lot. Would be nice if I had some sort of a time to like try to actually do the... very difficult to try to like concentrate <laughs> do I have almost any ammo on that maybe not definitely not going to be easy <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe I got some damage done, but not that much. I was thinking that I'm too much in the edge there. Oh, there's then one, one more that I have to get somehow. If I can, that is. I was thinking that there should be one more, but then at least one more, that is. Did I get it? I definitely don't have much ripper plates left, so... I hope I got it. Thank you, monster. Ugh, made it. Why is this locked? We'll see if there's someone on board with us, but of course we would have to try to leave just like immediately. <sighs> We are in outer space, it's just a question if... Help, oh, that uh, exploded there. If there's someone with us, that's the question. No, Nicole. Why Nicole attacking you? You helped her after all. Yeah, that's true. She has a very cute face. We're all alone in space. Like I said, the only question is if there's someone with us, but... But Nicole is at the very least indeed very dead. Thank you, Scrap Lord, for the sheer and well placed. It's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. But yeah, is someone here with us or not? Yeah, that's why I wouldn't have taken the helmet off yet. Me left, sure, but doesn't mean that something couldn't be there in the in the ship with us already at that point for obvious reasons. <laughs> well, the different question is if well maybe we will be together with Nicole after all for the rest of our times. But uh, yeah, different question if uh, he can still survive from that. But there was definitely something there with us, so that's that's the case. <sighs> Sorry about that. But GG is at the very least. GG is. And we made it through to... I was thinking that maybe the last two chapters or some of these chapters would be a little bit shorter, but couldn't really be sure, so... <sighs> GG nonetheless. Yeah, till death do them apart. Well, that's a difficult question, or maybe not. Can't really know exactly what will be the certainty there though like truly can't really know yeah at least it's still recording and doing stuff even though like i said my ops isn't working like it should be 
Like I, can ma I can't mute, for example, the button doesn't work anymore because it's open the nutter spot there. So it's like, well, if I happen to have a very big sneeze or something, I can't do anything about that while we're listening to this. <laughs> uh, yeah, she tried to take our ship. Well, I uh, though in all honesty, she shouldn't like I. Uh, they should have made in the game in a sense so that there would be a longer path for us to have to take to, to get to that exit back to the ship, because really, even though it was softer like uh, walk and so on, it definitely with all of the getting the bridges up using stasis and everything like that, there's no way she would have been able to get there with the marker that fast. Read first letter of every chapter before you leave. Okay, I'll I'll go and try to do that. And yeah, I can't hide at all. Not in the least. Because yeah, I don't know why, but for some reason, like the options menu, like uh, do you want to change the size of the screen or something like that, that is open from the OBS. And I don't understand what opened it, but something did. For whatever reason. So... But okay, I'll try to do that. Uh, where can I do that from? Or should I just load like the game? Nonetheless, it was a cool game, very atmospheric, like I said. Obvious enough in a sense of what horror games usually do. I sometimes like, I kind of would have wished to believe that she could have actually been real and alive. The girl that we came here for, Nicole. But uh, I was always like, I don't believe this is true, like for a second, nonetheless, even though I'm like, but we really can't touch her and everything, so maybe, maybe there's a minimal chance, but I was like always, <laughs> most likely not, chapter select, okay. We'll do that then, maybe it re uh, reads dead space. That could be it. Maybe she's just sleeping, maybe, maybe, totally. But um, yeah, I guess in the uh, Dead Space 2, we could then exactly know what happened to him from there. Because like it's not like he hasn't killed a ridiculous amount of those guys. So why couldn't he kill still that thing, even though it would surprise him? I guess the only qu uh, thing there, the big problem is that uh, he actually took off the helmet, which was one of the big things that protected him. And it seemed like it was actually coming to his face. So, very possible that he also would be dead. But, uh, can't really, can't really know. Can't really know for sure. But, uh, yeah, very atmospheric game. Horror games aren't really my genre in general. So, it's difficult for me to play them for a very long time at once at the very least because it does it tends came to play after all that's what horror games are some more than some others like some of didn't feel as tense because some are, like it had it's not like this doesn't have a story but it's more a philosophical story and the monsters were different it's after all this is a shooter game nonetheless with the monsters that when you actually have to be killing a lot of them and um it's very different and very different horror game than what I've ever played before. Uh, <laughs> most horror games that I've played of this type of things are just some shooters like maybe First Red Faction or something. And that's not the same thing at all. So, And then otherwise the horror games that I've played indeed are very few. As in Soma and Obser Observer I think was the first one that I played. I think... And um, then I had to play a little bit of the Amon, the sleep or that uh, in the YouTube channel and a little bit of Amnesia. But well, that's again, the game crashed so many times that I couldn't play it to the end. But yeah, very good game, even if not my genre. Um, very atmospheric, very cool. I do plan to play at some point at least the Dead Space 2, like I've said. So that would be definitely on the line of games I would play and would wish to play at some point but uh, well we'll have to see when I'd say this is relatively mild in what comes to horror it's very subjective though it depends it depends what sort of things you like or not and uh, this still made me feel tense nonetheless it's a game and very atmospheric game certainly chapter 12 
dead space. Having some problems there. Okay. This is the weird language we did say somewhat. Military suite unlocked indeed. Backstory locks unlocked. Uh, 50,000 credits awarded. 10 power nodes awarded. Impossible mode unlocked. Well, I, I don't think I want to be playing that impossible mode, but <laughs> thank you, game. Um, I guess we can save. Sure. Fine. There. But yeah, depends. Depends. Well, you did watch the Soma and Observer. At least I think that those weren't... Like, at least Soma wasn't really that scary for me, to be honest. Um... Chapter select. So I guess it would be like new game and then... I don't know. What do you mean? Where do I see that? Scrap Lords chapter select. But how? From new game selecting difficulty and from there or continue? Should I continue the game? This is pretty mild watching second hand. So if this gave me such bad physical reaction, I don't want to know how I would react to games I actually find then second hand. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I just like trying to wonder, like, I don't think this has been many games that I found 10 second hand that I've watched thus far. Well, I guess, uh, indeed the Outlast series, at least, I have watched the one and second Outlast from some people when they played it. And I wouldn't enjoy that running about, certainly enough. Like, that's not battle, uh, horror game, but that's just, like... I don't want that sort of a having to be running about. That's, it anyways, feels more of an annoying mechanics to some degree. Like just having to be running, afraid, scared all the time, away, away and hide. Just wouldn't be fun. That fun. Yeah, I'd hardly consider so much horror game at all. Again, very subjective horror is a tricky genre. Yep. I think so much is still, so to speak, a horror game, but it's not really scary horror game. And all right, yes. What do I need to do, Scrap Lord? Tell me. What's the thing I need to do? Dead Spade doesn't have chapter select. That's what I was thinking, that I don't think I see a chapter select. So, I guess from continue game. Fatal Frames and Silent Hills, at least. I was thinking that, do you feel that Fatal Frames were also like that? But I didn't ever feel tense from watching Fatal Frames. Um, I know that I wouldn't enjoy playing them myself, but I didn't find them that, that they would have made me that tense. But Silent Hill, I, of course, I can't say anything about. Hmm, mix it up with Dead Space 2. For some reason, I almost read that uh, Dark Souls 2. It's almost the same. Dark Souls, Dead Space, almost the same. Diaz, nonetheless. Well, uh, he it also did say about backstories. Can I see those backstories somewhere easily about those characters or something? Cleared game medium round two. Would that like start from the very beginning then? Interesting. But okay, so new arrivals, intensive care chapter, course correction chapter, obliteration imminent chapter, little devotion chapter, environmental hazard chapter, into the void chapter, search and rescue chapter, dead and on arrival chapter, end of the day chapter, alternate solution chapter, and then dead space. So chapter one would be then with the N. Nick. Nicole, Nicole, and then uh, Nicole, indeed, and then E as is, is dead. Okay, Nicole is dead. Yep, Nicole is dead. That's fun. 
I can understand Saladin haven't tried fatal frames yet. Mm. The Nicole is dead. That makes sense. Well, it's not like I wasn't <laughs> certain about that. And I was pretty certain about it in all the way through the game. Not that I was 100% certain, but... But yeah, I wanted to at least read them out loud nonetheless. Even though the chat does after all show also in the stream, so it's not like it's not there, but still. But yeah, it would be nice to still be able to see about that backstory stuff that I supposedly could read, but I don't know what that means. Is it just like there would be some new log somewhere that I can find? But hey, I'm pretty satisfied of having played Dead Space all the way through, nonetheless. Why she can't be alive? Well, she killed herself, that's why. That is the reason. To be honest, I think she took the better way out. I don't think she would have wanted to be alive in that place. While it was going down. So. I think that was pretty fair choice. In all honesty. Pretty fair choice. So what did you guys think about Dead Space other than it is mild as a horror game? And nonetheless, after all, this was at least for Sare, like you said, that uh, it was still tense when you were playing, so that's why you didn't finish Dead Space yourself. But uh, I am kind of regretting not having played on the hard difficulty, but I did have some troubles anyways with this normal difficulty. Not any serious troubles, so I'm sure we could have made it with the hard difficulty too. Probably would have at least have some more difficulty with the uh, amount of ammo and stuff like that, because... At least in the end here, I could have had so ridiculous amount of cash. And, uh, well, I didn't really need that much. So... Hmm. But okay, I guess we'll be ending here for tonight then. We've cleared that space, then next time around on Friday we can start with a new game. I hate to pray and... Well, I don't know about the prey ending, so <laughs> I guess I get uh, got kind of spoiled with that, but oh well. Antron just made me feel ill. Yeah, I can understand that. Well, uh, I'm sure there's more to prey than just that. And anyways, it's not like that's not very... Uh, that's not a surprise, to be honest, in any game that uh, if we talk about any game that is more of a horror related then they probably are dead the people that you want to save or you will end up being dead at some point or another but yeah Prey has been one of those games that I thought that I guess I should play it at some point as a let's play or a stream or something not immediately now though but someday mayhaps it is on the list of games that I should probably play someday should but there is, of course, lots of games on that list. Lots and lots and lots of games. Hmm, it's a very nice game. Okay, but I shall indeed end the recording at the very least here. So, thank you all for watching Dead Space with me. Although I played, not watch, but almost the same thing, certainly. I just did the actions, but you were there too. And all that. Anyways, I'm going and talking very strangely, but whatever. Um, anyways, yes. Thank you for watching here on the stream, Dead Space, and also in YouTube if you chose to watch this through in there. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. So, thank you for watching, and uh, let's see what sort of a game we shall be taking on next. So, bye bye. See you then. I don't think even the stop recording button actually works. Like, nothing works from there now, OBS. So fine, I have to go and exit it completely so that I can actually do the <laughs> stop recording. So, okay. Thank you once again, uh, YouTube people. And now, bye-bye.